Brooklyn's Barbie Bay and today we are looking at my integrity dolls and we are going to unbox two of the new ones that I received in the mail today so come on let's go to my integrity corner okay so I'm going to start on this side here and just kind of show you some of my male integrity dolls that I have um, and let's see I have oh she's beautiful one of my meteor dolls and then you're gonna pan right on over up here where all of my integrity dolls are I have a ton I want to say probably 60 70 maybe 100 at this point that I have their dolls are in a row so it's kind of hard to get back here because they're up on a shelf you'll see all my Adele's my Kiki's um, I have so many then you'll come down to the second row as you can see we have a whole lot of girls back here Okay, a ton of, and I'll probably have to do a video. If you like, let me know in the comments. If you wanna see my integrity dolls that I have um, so far, then we'll go down to the third row. <laughs> and we've got a lot of poppies. We've got some more guys back there. Um, you see uh, from Jim and the Holograms, as you can see, I've got all my poppies are all over this way. So I have a lot of my poppy girls. I'm a huge, huge fan and I'm also a collector. And I am also in the W Club, so I do get a lot of great dolls. Um, they are expensive. I'm not even going to lie to you, okay? But I feel like they are the creme de la creme um, when it comes to doll making. They're also owned by an African-American company, and um, they have some phenomenal um, designers when it comes to these dolls. Um, I also have clothing, so don't don't forget, you know, you got to get the dolls. you got to come over here and come down and have tons and tons of of clothing for them I box everything up um, but yes today we are going to be unboxing a couple of dolls that I received in the mail and the first one is um, we're gonna look at the enchanting and amethyst lady Aurelia gray doll um, and then we also have our um, dream and aquamarine Cora Kwan so I'm excited to get into it but I also wanted to show you a real girls haul of those integrity toy dolls love it love it love it let's get to the table and let's go ahead and look at some dolls and maybe I will like take some of these down and let you guys see them even more more important in person but this video gives you um, a kind of a look at the dolls um, and how they come you know the accessories that they come with and also kind of let you understand why people do pay so much for them and believe you me they pay a penny because if you're not in if you're not um in the w club you're going to pay a lot probably on ebay or from someone else that's selling them okay let's get right so into here it. we are now and we are back with our um east 59th street doll that we're getting ready to open up and again this is our um Emerge, excuse me, um, Enchanting and Amethyst, Lady Aurelia Gray. So this is Lady Aurelia Gray. That is the name of the doll. Um, it's the East 59th collection. Okay. So we're going to take off the sides. Um, and they come boxed kind of like twice when it comes from Integrity Toys. It comes in that um, mailing shipper. Um, and then it comes like in another box on top of this. So they're, they are really packaged very well. They want to make sure that collectors are extremely happy. And even when selling the dolls, um, people want them in that same condition, um, never removed from the box. So here is Lady Aurelia Gray. I think she is absolutely beautiful. I'm going to bring her in a little closer so you can have a good look. Okay, she's got this beautiful first stole on, absolutely gorgeous. Okay, this beautiful dress. And then she comes with this, which is all of her accessories that she's going to come with. So when you take that out, this is what you have. I keep all of my doll boxes because if I ever move or I have to go somewhere, I want to make sure that I have everything that they came with so I can set them up. So what I want to say about this particular doll I believe she was like a hundred and sixty something dollars that I paid um, as a collector I'm just not a collector I'm sorry but as um, someone who's in the club um, this was my our my price out the door which is pretty good she's a um, very very beautiful doll we're gonna get more into her in a second um, also um, 
they are very the clothing everything is just to me 100 percent high end um and i think this is why these are like so much better than my barbies i'm one of those girls that don't take their clothes off all the time okay unless i'm redressing um or I, when, if i go to a convention and someone's selling clothes you know you get in when you go to the convention i pray to god that they're gonna have an in-person i was able to go to the crave convention over the summer which i was super happy so i do have um five exclusive dolls from that convention i have not opened not one so i will definitely be doing that online um and so i can't wait to show you guys those dolls now what you get um, in every doll, you're gonna get a sleeve that has all of your doll's accessories and what your doll comes with. So this particular doll, just so I can show you, okay, this is her accessory kit that she comes with. As you can see, she comes with a gorgeous pair of shoes and I wanna let you know that those are red bottoms, baby, okay? Um, she also comes with um, extra hands. So if I want my doll to have on gloves, I have an option to change her hands. Um, she comes with a beautiful, and I want to, you all to get into this before we take it out, but look at that. Let me put this down so I can really show you. Look how beautiful this necklace is and how shimmery this necklace is with her earrings. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, and then she also comes with a purse, okay? A beaded purse at the top. Very, very pretty, gorgeous. I absolutely love this. So this is why I'm telling you, as we go through this, you'll be able to see exactly what you get versus, you know, your other dolls. This is an upper echelon doll. You're not going to get this, um, these, you know, with Barbie or with, you know, LOLs and stuff like that. You know, everything as we know with them is plastic and it is not that way with these dolls. I don't think I've ever seen anything plastic ever <laughs> on these dolls. Okay, so taking our Azalea out of her box, I want to show you all that this doll does come with, let's lay her down really quick, um, a certificate of authenticity. Okay, so she was number 383, 283 out of 750 dolls that were made. And that is the reason why these dolls are so intricate and you know can be a little pricey because where other doll lines are making thousands and thousands of dolls, you only have 750. So you have that chance of being only 750 people of owning this doll. And I'm number 283. <laughs> so I'm super happy about that. All dolls come with a doll stand. Um, and so here's um, the top of the doll stand. And I'll show you how that works. Um, it does kind of go into the bottom and then the doll kind of sits on a saddle like um, on there. So I'll show you that. The back, everything is, is always tied, okay? So you don't have to worry about having issues with plastic, issues with um, being able to take the doll out. It's really super easy. Um, so I'm always, oh, let me try to get the bottom of the stand. Okay. Um, the stand is like this, and it says East 59th Street. I, all the stands have the names of the dolls, or if the doll is coming from a convention or something, um, a set, then they're all gonna say the exact same thing. Okay, so it might not be the actual doll brand um, or the series, it could just be um, whatever the occasion was that we were at, okay? So here I have the stand now for our doll. So when I take her out, I'll be able to put her on here. So let me go ahead and take her out of the box and let's get a closer look. Okay, so here is Azalea Gray. And I think she looks absolutely gorgeous. Let me fix my camera so I can give you all a good look. Um, let me come in and let you see how beautiful her face is. She has rooted eyelashes, of course, all of the dolls do. They come with a hairnet on top of the hair. If we take the hairnet off, you'll see that she has um, like a braided bun around her hair. And there she is. She comes with this, fa this faux stall. It is so comfortable, so soft. Um, and as you can see, it hooks in the front here. She comes with this beautiful, let me sit back and let you see how beautiful this gown is. Absolutely gorgeous. Her toenails are painted. All the dolls' toenails are actually painted, as well as their nails. The dolls are articulated, so they move at the wrist and the actual hands do come off, so it's really easy to take the doll completely apart. I wanna um, take her stole off so you can get a good look at the dress. 
because mama is giving it to us okay <laughs> she's got the bosoms for days right very very pretty I'll take this all the way off and there's the back of the dress very gorgeous giving us that early you know 60s I want to say uh, 50 60 vibe and that's this era you know it's that older era she's giving you mother you know, she can actually, and you know, if I were to put together a skit, these dolls, some of them would be the mothers of some of the others, right? Very, very pretty. Let's get Azalea dressed, um, put on some of her items so I can show you um, what she would look like when she's all put together. Lady Azalea is absolutely beautiful, beautiful. Now, to sit them on their stands, it just goes right over the dress like so. Like this, like that. Like so. Oh. Lady Azalea has this tight dress on, so you have to just pay attention to what you're doing. Yes. Okay, and then she just stands on the stand. I know it looks kind of weird. Let me get her accessories on so I can show you her whole entire look. Okay, now here we have Miss Azalea completely completely done up okay from the beautiful heels all the way up to um her purse she has her beautiful earrings on gonna just bring her in a little closer so that you can see that the gorgeous necklace that she's wearing she's got her gorgeous earrings in now her purse and she absolutely has on those darling shoes and look at the shoes they match the earrings okay um beautiful amethyst colored earrings and she's all about the amethyst so she is looking absolutely darling now i also wanted to show you really quickly that she does come with a pair of gloves gloved hands so let me show you how those look if you wanted to change your doll's look up and you wanted to put hands on her right well i mean not technically hands but if you wanted to change her hands up you could do so so the only thing that I would do is pop out these hands and I always do it at the wrists very easily so that I'm not going to mess up the pegs on these dolls. Oh, wrong hand. You'll see when the hand is right and when the hand is wrong. Okay. And then I'm going to turn her this way and take off this hand. And I always put my hands like out to the side, just so I remember what goes where. And then so here she would be with gloved hands, okay? And let me show you that a little closer. Looks like she's got a pair of gloves on, right? And then you could just give her back her purse or, and you have two ways of, of wearing the purse. She can wear it, you know, on the, on the, um, whole entire arm if you wanted to or you could just use the hand part of it because she has the stole on I just chose to kind of just put it you know on her this way okay and there you have the lovely Miss Azalea Gray and her beautiful amethyst let's look at our next doll okay now here we have our next doll that we're going to unbox again this is an East 59th New York Street doll and this one is Coraline Dream in Aquamarine and it's Coraline um, Cora Quan. Okay, so she's one of the newer dolls in this um, line for East 59th Street and I wanted her because first of all my birthstone is Aquamarine and when I saw her I was like oh my gosh <laughs> I gotta have her. So let's go ahead and, and take her out of the box so we can show you what she looks like. Okay, and here we have the beautiful Cora Lynn Kwan, or Cora Kwan, I call her. Absolutely gorgeous, you guys. I'm so excited. Gonna take her accessory pack away so we can give you the full view of this doll. Um, she looks absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna bring her in a little closer. Just giving you that old school vibe. Beautiful red lips. She's got a pantsuit on in that aquamarine color and she's bringing in the gold with it. Let's get her out of the box so you guys can have a much better look. Okay, so here we have our beautiful Coraline. Um, and just to let you know, um, she has her certificate of authenticity. She is number 50 for me of 750. So I am number 50 of owning this doll and I'm so super excited. 
she also comes with a set of accessories that we're going to also go in to but wanted to give you a really good up close and personal feel of how this beautiful doll looks i absolutely love her lipstick now one thing that integrity toys does is that a doll could come in many variations so the first one of Coraline that i got has blonde hair um, and a big beautiful gown and but she does not look like this she looks her face does but her hair is different um, and they will also mix skin tones sometimes with different dolls as well so you can get when I show you kind of variation of my other dolls you'll see that they come in all different types of colors but they will still be the same doll if that makes any sense so I love the fact that they gave her a, a made her a brunette this time with those beautiful plump red lips that she has and beautiful blue eyes she's always going to have the same aesthetic but her hair um may be a little different i love the fact that she's got this pantsuit on she's got beautiful red toes and her nails are red as well now this seems to be like a little coat and it is so we're going to open this up so i can give you all um how this looks and i love how he the designer sorry um, did this the, the clothes the fashion is just amazing you guys look at this as we take off her jacket she now has on what I call a, um, a playboy bunny I call it um, top uh, um, shaped top because it reminds you of bunny ears isn't that gorgeous I took this is why I love this outfit nothing in the back honey yeah she's coming for Ken she's coming for all the guy dolls okay and they all gonna want her too she looks absolutely amazing you guys okay so let me pull her jacket back up and let's look at her beautiful hair Ah, oh, did I just get some things I got her little hand stuck in her jacket sorry guys hold on let me get her straight okay I got her back on <laughs> I have to be really careful with my girls okay so we're gonna take off her um, netting that is on her hair her hair is completely molded down you guys so you'd have to do a hot boil wash if you didn't want the way that the doll's hair is you'd have to like really come in and take everything you know hot water it to get it how you want it and people do all the time so don't think you know like ah uh, people do it hold on whoever put this on just didn't make it to where it'd be easy for me just to pull it off her hair either. Ah, let me go this way with it. Okay. All right, I finally got it off. All right, so, um, and now it's hanging on the curl. Hold on a second, guys. Let me get this completely off so I can do this video right. Okay, so she's got this little curl piece in the front. Um, it kind of goes here with the hair. And if you want to redo it, you absolutely could. Okay, but all this is like molded, so it is hard. But it fits the frame of the face because back then the hair was molded. Okay, so let's get to showing you how I have, that's how, and that's how the doll stand works. Oop, I would say that and then she falls right off, right? Okay, so the doll stand, you, you angle her on here, make sure it's at her, um, and I probably could push it down some. That's why it's doing that. Okay. Okay. There we go. Okay, so now we have her accessories. And in this... Um, oh, this is pretty. So she also comes with another pair of hands. These are not gloved or anything like that. But they just... Um, they can hold the purse. You know, they're the hands that have the arch kind of like in them. And they have the red fingernails as well. Okay. She comes with this beautiful pair of earrings look at the earrings you guys get into that gorgeous earrings we're gonna put on her she has a very pretty just gold um, purse okay a clutch nice little gold clutch and then she comes with a pair of gold shoes with the red bottoms of course because this is the Louboutins that she's gonna put on today and last but not least this doll holds a cigarette and a holder so let me put everything together and give you a show oh and look at this in the cigarette holder let me see if I can show this to you guys it's got the little diamonds okay the, the aquamarine is in that too it looks like a real cigarette okay hold on
Okay, and here is our beautiful Quan, um, Coral, Coraline, Quan. And you guys took me a whole lot of time to get this little cigarette in this doll. So I am not about to move her again. <laughs> but here she is with her beautiful shoes on. She's got the beautiful, um, she's absolutely a gorgeous doll. Okay, there she is with her earrings on. I had to position the little cigarette holder and she's holding her beautiful clutch. Absolutely, absolutely so happy with this doll. So glad that she's a part of my collection. Love her rooted eyelashes if you can see those as well. This doll, I mean, just amazing. Same price point as our first doll, which I'm going to move over next to her because these are the East 50 ninth girls that I was able to collect. Um, and very, very excited to have them both um, a part of my doll haul. Let me know what you think. What are your thoughts about these two girls in the collection? What are your thoughts about Integrity Dolls? And are you a collector? Please drop down in the comments below. Hit the like button if you like today's video and want to see more about my Integrity Dolls. Let me know and I will definitely do a whole video doll haul on all the ones that I have. And you know, I'm thinking I'm going to give you all the backstory because each doll has a story, okay? And I just I didn't put it in this video cuz I was doing an unboxing, but in my next one I absolutely will so that you can kind of know the characters and know a little bit what they're about. Um and if you're not subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and be a part of this darling this dolly world that I have going on here at my house. Thank you guys so much for a most interesting time today and love 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 that you all are viewing us and as usual have an amazing day and thanks for watching Brooklyn's Barbie Bay. Tell them bye girls. <laughs>